Hi, and welcome to my very first uh, Clicky whiteboard session. My name is Banty Wanson, and I'm the head of SEO here at Clicky. Today, I wanted to talk to you uh, a little bit about the concept of practices and performances and how to adopt that in an SEO context. Let's start with, a, with an example to try to exemplify what practices and performances can be in a real-world real world setting. If we consider a Formula One racing team and a Formula One race, one of the key things in a race is the pit stop. And the performance of the pit stop is measured uh, on the time that it takes from when the car drives into the pit stop until it drives back out again. Let's say that this performance for this example is seven seconds. If we somehow want to optimize this performance to go from maybe seven to six seconds again, it's not enough with just measuring and reporting on the performance. We need to break it down and see what are the practices involved that can, can affect this performance. And of course, in a pit stop, there's a, there are a number of practices that we need to consider. First of all, it's you know the driving into the pit in a certain way, keeping the, the speed limits and such. The second one is lifting the car. A third one might be unbolting the wheel in a certain way, uh, bolting the wheels back on again, cleaning the visor of the driver, giving the driver the go-ahead to drive up, back out again, and all of these practices need to be performed in an optimal way so we can affect the performance. So it's not enough if we only measure the performance. We need to measure, report, and optimize the practices as well. Then the question is, how does this relate to SEO? First of all, let me just say, during the 10 years that I've been working with SEO, I've learned, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the hardest part about SEO is not knowing what to do. The hardest part is actually getting it done. And as the SEO projects grow in scale, getting it done seems to exponentially become more and more difficult. All right, back to the practices and performances. What are the performances of SEO? Well, traditionally, we look at things like uh, organic rankings, organic traffic, and, and hopefully, we also have some sort of organic conversions that we can measure. And all of these are performances. If we want to make sure that we deliver the SEO project as good as possible and keeping the focus in the pro process as well, it's not enough if we only focus on the performances. We need to dig in and see what are the practices. So let's, for example, say then uh, uh, our performance here is rankings. What are then the practices? Well, of course, there, there are a couple of hundred practices probably involved in, in getting better rankings, and I won't have time to go through them all here now. That would take far too much time. Let's consider a few of them. One obvious practice would be, are we using our targeted keyword in our title tags? Another one would obviously be, are we using our targeted keyword in the content, in the body text of the page? Third one might be, are we using our targeted keyword in the alt text of our images? Given that we have tools to crawl the site, let's say we crawl a website once every week and we report on how many URLs we have where the targeted keyword is not a part of the title tag, how many URLs we have where the, the targeted keyword doesn't appear in, uh, enough in the content of, the, of that page, or um, if we do or do not have images with the targeted keyword in, in the alt text on that specific page. That would give us a possibility to, uh, to map this over time. So let's say when we start week one, we have 346 URLs that do not have the targeted keyword in the title tag. Then preferably over time, this would be a, a, a trend going down because we want to have less and less pages that do not have uh, that less and less that do not have the targeted keyword in its title tag. And we know for sure that if we keep working on these practices, not, of course not just this one, but all of them, we know for sure that the practices, that the performances will come. We will get better rankings and more traffic and more conversions, given that we work with the practices involved in it. 
And what this will give, the benefits this will give us is, first of all, it will, it will become so much easier for us to keep the focus in the project going, even though we're not seeing the results early on, meaning we're not seeing uh, immediate effects on rankings when, when we're working with the SEO project in the beginning. So it's easier for us to keep the focus. It'll also be easier for us to communicate to stakeholders, either uh, if it's a client or if it's uh, internally in an in-house organization. And best of all, it will help us getting it done. Thank you very much and stay tuned for more videos from the Clicky Whiteboard Sessions.